a sex one. <笑>好，这个应该不用换。还有还有最漂亮的这个这个最闪亮的沙坡。Yeah. So when you're when you're you know when you're playing, just be aware of all the things that's mentioned. You know, just making sure that you're not you know using too much lip or not you know too little. Just you know. One thing about playing in general is that it just has to be comfortable. We all, you know, whatever you do, it has to feel natural. 呃，就是第一个最重要的就是演奏时候感觉起来是舒服，所以你要觉得很自然。And it's one of the, frankly, one of the one of the cool things about a saxophone is that ergonomically it's laid out very comfortably, so it's already a natural instrument to play. That's why, you know, playing, you know, for me, playing other woodwind instruments like clarinet is like, you know, clarinet is the devil. I I, I hate it because it's so hard. <laughs> 那因为沙龙的设计基本上就是很，就是很，很，呃，就是，呃，很自然，就是很容易可以上手。那比如说像竖笛，就是相对来不是那么容易，所以老师很，很，很不喜欢吹竖笛，因为竖笛很困难。And and also a lot of my brass player friends, you know, brass instruments are great, but I have a lot of, especially trumpet player friends, that have to be very, very careful about how much they play. If they have, you know, if we're on tour, um, and they have to play that night. You know, us saxophone players, we can practice all day long. I can practice for eight hours in a day and then play a concert that night and feel better because I practice so much. But brass players, because it's so much more physical, they, they have to be very aware of how they, you know, uh, preserve their, their muscles for performances. 呃，对铜管乐器来讲，就是你要确，就是呃，每天你可以练习或者可以演奏的时间是有限的，必须要保留。比如说你今天晚上要表演的话，你就是早上。的练习时间必须要保留，那因为那个铜管乐器必须要很多的这个体力上或是这个呃肌肉上面的需要，所以所以必须要做这样子。可是沙子不用。So that's actually a good point to make and a good point to think about is that when you're playing, no matter what instrument you play, yes, trumpet is physical, and yes, clarinet or other instruments may be a little more, perhaps a little awkward at first, but whenever you approach it. Just really try to be relaxed in your playing and comfortable and easy because the more effort an instrument takes to play, the harder it's going to be to, to control it and the harder and you know the harder it's going to be to um, you know play the way the way you want to. Was there another question over here? Yes. Two questions for you. First, why saxophone? I actually started playing saxophone when I was nine years old, and I I, uh, I wanted to play trumpet, and, <laughs> and uh, I, I I don't know why I wanted to play trumpet, but I always thought that trumpet was like you know, all right, it's a man's. <laughs> And so uh, I went to the to the school, and uh, the district teacher had laid out a bunch of instruments on the table: there were, there were trumpets, there were clarinets, and flutes, and violins, and, and everything. And, and they said, if you want to join the beginning band, um, you can play one of these instruments. You can go to the music store and rent an instrument, and, and you can join the beginning band. And uh, I, I said, well, I'd like to play the trumpet. She says, well, your teeth look a little funny. Are you going to be getting? Braces on your teeth anytime soon? I said, Well, yes. As a matter of fact, next month I'm scheduled to start wearing braces. And the teacher said, No, no, trumpet's a bad idea. You'll be a bloody mess very quickly. So I had no idea what the saxophone sounded like. And I had a bunch of friends, you know, together, uh, four of us actually. And we were looking and go, Well, I don't know, Steve, what do, what do you want to play? And you know, he goes, Well, how about that one? And we go, Yeah, yeah, we'll play that one. We'll play that one. What's that called? You know. And she said, It's a saxophone. OK, yeah, cool, we'll play that, we'll play that. Oh, 大家听得懂这故事吗？好了，翻译一下，就是就是老师这九九岁的时候去这个学学乐器，他原本想要选选小号，然后可是呃，他就是要戴牙套，所以就是后来就没有选这个乐器。老师说你要戴牙套，这样不能。那他就跟他几个朋友那边，然后然后他根本就没有听过沙子风，也不晓得沙子风声音怎么样。那他就是朋友跟他说，哎，那我们选这个乐器，后来就选了沙子风。Okay. <laughs> I, I picked it because it looked cool. Kind of dumb. Yeah. The second one is that we know that the instrument is very important for the musicians. 
but you have any experience about your 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 instruments was broken. I what was the last point? Uh, do you have any experience about why your instrument was broken? Why well, was out of work? How it was broken? broken. Not, not working. Not not working. Oh, if I, if I had experience of it not yeah. working. I mean, what do you mean if, like, if I'm playing at a concert and the instrument yes. stops working? Yeah. Yes, I've had <laughs> way too much experience of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, um, I, I, one time I, I was in the middle of a, of a concert and, um, and this part, the tooth guard on the mouthpiece came off. And I, um, I swallowed it. <laughs> oh. And, uh, I, you know, I, I, I choked on it. I, I'm hoping that it's not inside me anymore. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure that it's not, but I'll, I'll leave that up to, I'll, I'll leave that subject alone for a moment. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I, I uh, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say the whole thing, but a, but a large piece of it. So I had to play without the tooth guard, and, and it's like suddenly, you know, going from playing a, an alto to playing a sopranino in the way that it, it felt. So that was kind of scary. Uh, and yeah, plenty of times, well, far more times than I can count, has a reed disintegrated, you know, in mid solo. I, I play and something, the reed just went, and, um, you know, you can't really play much anymore. And there was one time I was playing, uh, <laughs> so actually, you know, the, the reason the keys move is because there's, there's springs uh, on them, and so they, they are, uh, they, they uh, are, if you look closely, there are little springs on all the, you know, on, on most of the, underneath most of these posts. Um, anyway, I was, I was playing one time, and I, I had uh, somehow, some, a screw came loose, and the key, literally, in front of about a thousand people, the key went, boing! <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop, and, and uh, it actually, the key, I was at the front of the stage like this, and the key actually went and hit somebody. <laughs> in front of me, and I had to say, Excuse me, but can I please have my? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 老师有很多这个表演的时候，就是乐器发生状况的的事情。那第一个是它的这个齿垫，这个吹嘴上面会有个呃，就是牙齿跟吹嘴中间有个垫片。那有时这个垫片掉了，所以它就吹下去，然后就吹下去。然后，然后他他说希望那个垫片现在已经不在他的身体里面。<笑>对，不过他就是把吹吹下，可是吹下去之后，就是会有什么样的影响？就是吹嘴就感觉有点比较小了，所以他原本好像在吹 alto， 就听感觉起来好像变在吹 soprano， 就变吹嘴变得比较小，所以他就很不习惯。那另外还有就是，呃，有一次是那个他的剑掉下来，那因为我们这个剑都是呃有弹针 ，OK， 那所以它可以弹起来，然后因为螺丝松了，所以这弹起来不是就只有剑不是打开，它就整个弹出去，所以他在这个舞台的边边，然后就。弹到下面去，然后他跟那个底下人说：“哎、欸，可不可以把我的键盘给我？”这样。But the worst was that one time I was playing at the Hollywood Bowl, which is the biggest venue in the United States. It, it when it's completely full, it holds twenty twenty eight thousand people. Twenty eight thousand， 是两万八千人，在那个 Hollywood Hollywood， 就是好莱坞的一个表演厅，然后非常非常大的表演。I was playing with a piano player named David Benoit, and、um, so I, I, you know, you're always, of course, you know, you play the Hollywood Bowl. It's a very big, prestigious thing. I was a little nervous. 呃，呃，这个是一个非常大的这个场合。然后刚刚提到说，呃 ，David Benoit， 然后演那么大的场合之前，他有一点点紧张。So I go to the front of the stage and I have a solo. I'm playing my solo, I'm playing, playing, playing. You know, I finish my solo and yeah, you know. The twenty-eight thousand people applaud. You know, it's a big sound. It's, I was like, oh, this is great. You know, so I said, thank you very much, and I stepped back, and I didn't notice that there was a monitor speaker right behind me. All the balls go like this, and I, and I tripped on the on the speaker and fell over with the horn in my hand. So, so in the matter of of. A nanosecond. The audience was from went from applauding to, to hearing twenty eight thousand people go. So can you find that on YouTube? On YouTube, I sure as hell. So to make it to make it you know to make a joke, I thought you know what can I do? And so I, I just took my horn and stayed on the ground and played some more. <laughs> and I kept playing the solo, and so. From you know, from applause to 
to total panic to laughing. So I, I made a I made a good bit out of a very very embarrassing situation. <laughs> 所以刚刚那个情况就是，后来老师在这个两两万八千人面前表演，然后收收的很嗨，然后完了之后就是就是大家鼓掌嘛，然后完了之后就往后退，然后舞台上面有时候会放一些这个监听的喇叭，就被这个监听把它绊倒，然后所以这两万八千人就从很大的掌声变，然后呢，老师倒下来之后呢，老师反应很快，就开始在躺在地上继续的演奏，继续他的收，所以后来大家就觉得很就很有趣，大家又大笑这样子。就化解这个这个舞台上面尴尬的场面。Let's show this show. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, was there another question over here? Question? Yes, sir. 如果老师我吹过古典的曲子，他会不会做任何改变？比如他会不会做嘴型的改变，或是示范吹嘴 ？Oh. So if you play something like classical music. Do you change your mouthpiece, or what, what, what do you do to adjust the style? Um, well, the answer, the short answer to your question is no. I don't change anything when I play different styles of music. Uh, I'm a, you know, if you ask uh, other saxophone players, they may have a different answer. But my answer is that how how we play, how we sound, has much more to do with. The way we play, than it does to do with what equipment we use. Uh, 我们演奏出来的东西比较跟我们怎么样去演奏它比较有关系，而不是你的这个你用什么东西演奏有关。Um, actually, you know, this mouthpiece, as you know, because you bought one for Aaron, um, you know, is is a it's a, it's a metal mouthpiece. Inherently, the material is going to sound much brighter than a typical classical mouthpiece. But but it's um. I use a funny analogy of uh, you know the movies, the Harry Potter movies. Harry Potter. Okay. Well, in, in the first Harry Potter movie, when he's at the at the wand shop and he, and he picks, he's looking for a magic wand. He is 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 looking for a magic wand. And, he, and the, the magic, the perfect wand comes up, and he puts that wand in his hand, and suddenly his hair starts blowing back, and the lights come up, and everything's, you know, everything's really cool. All of a sudden. 然后拿到这个适合他的那个魔杖的时候，那个大家不知道记得那一幕，就是那个那个那个就是开始发光啊，然后开始好像有些那个很很特别的那个现象这样子。There's a there's a that's how I feel about about equipment. You know, there's a there's a you know. Um, there's a saucer for every cup. We always say about men and women. You know, there's a there's always a, a match out there. And when you find a good match, what feels comfortable for you, then you should stick with that. I actually recorded a uh, a saxophone concerto. In fact, you can buy it online um, with the University of Nevada Las Vegas Wind Orchestra. Uh, they they invited me to come and perform the uh, Michael Kamen uh, saxophone concerto. 呃，所以就是老师觉得，当你用到最适合的那个配备的时候，你就用那个配备演奏。那老师之前有跟这个呃内华达大学的这个管乐团录了一张这个 Michael Kamen 的协奏曲，萨克斯协奏曲，跟这个乐团一起。As a matter of fact,、um, before that years ago,、uh, the same orchestra, the same wind orchestra, asked me to perform at a、uh, at a at a、uh, Well, a classical、uh, band and orchestra conference in、uh, Reno, Nevada.、Um, every year they have this competition, and not a competition, but a conference of, where different college orchestras perform. 呃，在之前呢，他也是同样的乐团也邀请老师去那边演奏，就是写古典的乐曲。啊，这是每两年一次的这个会议。So he he sends me the music about three months in advance. 呃，所以在三个月之前把把音乐寄给老师。And you know, I thought, oh, this is strange. You know, the jazz band director has sent me the the jazz band charts, you know, so far in advance. I mean, I can just read them. You know, it wouldn't be that big a deal. So, I I didn't open the envelope. So, 老师没有把它打开。三个月之前，他拿到时没有把它打开。So about you know, two three weeks before the performance, I I、um, I see the envelope on my desk in my office. I thought, oh, you know, I'll check out maybe some semi-nestical charts or some you know easy. You know, I was I was curious about what I was going to be playing. Uh, 老师以为是这个。
Big Bang 就是爵士乐团的那个，那老师这方面也很有经验，所以他就想说，哎、欸，打开看看到底是什么东西这样。So I open up the envelope, and after about ten seconds, I realize that I made a horrible, horrible mistake. 哈哈，在十秒之内，老师发现他这个做一个那个，他犯了一个错误。And I called the director of the band, and I said, I'm guessing that you're not the director of the jazz band, are you? And he says, No. What gave you that idea? 那个那个老师就打电话去给那个指指挥，就是那个呃指挥说，你你应该不是这个爵士乐团的的指挥吧？然后因为老师以为他是爵士乐团，事实上他是管乐团的指挥。And I said, well, I, you know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a jazz saxophone player. You know, I'm not, I'm not Harvey Patel. I'm not a jazz. I'm not a classical saxophonist. This part, the part, the music that he sent me was about 30 pages long, and it was a saxophone concerto, one of the hardest things I'd ever seen in my entire life. 就是三十页的这个萨克斯风 concerto， 就是他看过最难的一首曲。And I said, you know, I've never actually done this kind of thing before. And he said, well, you know, it's a contemporary piece, and and. Um, you know, I should have made it more clear, but I know you can do it. It's going to be fantastic. He said, "This is a modern piece. I know it's difficult, but I think the director said he can do it." I said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you have to do it." He said, "Well, okay, I'm willing to do it, but I mean, you if I were to show up to an orchestra rehearsal with this mouthpiece, they would throw things at me and tell me to get the heck out of here. If he took this orchestra to the orchestra, they would throw things at him and tell him to get the heck out of here. So he says, no, I know how you sound. You know, it would be, be fantastic. If you're willing to do it, you know, um, that'd be great. I said, okay, fantastic. So for the next three weeks, I'd probably practice that piece easily uh, seven or eight hours every day. I literally, now this is about 20 years ago, but I literally, on the, on the airplane, on the flight, I was so nervous about it that I took my saxophone and the music into the lavatory of the airplane and practiced in the bathroom. <laughs> 就是在二十年前，然后老师有多紧张呢？老师到去之前呢，就是还把那个谱拿拿拿出来，然后带他的沙松到厕所里面，在那边练习。You can't do that anymore. You get arrested for that kind of stuff. 现在不能做这样的事情。You probably got arrested back then too, I guess. But anyway, it, it all went fine. Point of all that whole story is that you know,、um, in the recording that I did,、uh, the, the concerto for Marienthal、um, with UNLV,、uh, you know. Listen to it, and it, 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 you know, it sounds pretty, pretty, um, uh, you know, like, like, you know, I mean, it's not unrealistic. It doesn't sound like totally out of place. My sound doesn't sound terribly out of place. So the point is that it's not so much about the equipment, but it's about here, about listening to how you sound and, and sound and play the way you want to play. And if you have equipment that feels comfortable, then you can play anything. 所以不是重点不是配备，重点是你听你你怎么样去听到你演奏的东西，然后呃怎么样利用你的耳朵去去表演，然后只要你觉得这个配备是你喜欢的，然后你觉得舒服的，你就可以运用这样的配备去演奏。啊、uh, ，I see some people fidgeting. Are we are we okay time-wise? Or... Yeah, uh, we can open for maybe one or two questions. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
change articulations so that you don't get used to any one particular articulation combination. OK, so uh, 